five days old. And feisty already. Yeah, even two days ago, it was trying to take the fish on its own. That's really remarkable how fast they grow. Yeah. The egg had pipped right before my weekend, and then I woke up the next morning and got a text in the morning uh, that we had a puffin chick, so it hatched overnight. Cute. We've been trying to have Atlantic puffin chicks for the last eight years. So it's very exciting that this is our first chick. Uh, the puffin chick is currently living in an incubator in our incubation room. So we made impromptu burrow out of some towels, and it seems quite happy in there. Like a good puffin staying in the burrow. Mm -hmm. All right, little bud. All right, let's see how, how much you weigh. 53.8. There are really only a few zoos in the United States right now working with Atlantic puffins. So because hatches are rare, we've really chosen to hand rear these chicks to be able to monitor that development very carefully and maximize the opportunity of successful breeding. I never get tired of new life. Um, that's one of the exciting things about what we get to do. Where's my food, bud? You ready? Yeah, I gotta make your food. You can go back in there. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> so puffin with a New York attitude. So we're giving it basically the body of the fish. We're cutting off the head and the tail and any fins. When they were first hatch out, they have a little bit more of a difficult time digesting the head and the tails. But as they grow, they can handle more of it. It's like, oh, all right, you going to feed me? How's it look? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty look good. All right, little bud. Back in the burrow. You want to come out to eat? Come on. Oh, we got food for you. Oh, look at Good job. Excellent. Look at you. Oh, you're even taking them by yourself now, completely. That's great. No hand feeding necessary. You want the last piece? Oh, Ooh. can you get it? Didn't quite get it right. Yeah. <laughs> you want to try that again? <laughs> try to take it that way. And eat the whole dish. I'll take the dish. There you go. Good job, bud. Wow. That was fast. <laughs> Someone's growing fast. Oh, uh, that one came back out. <laughs> Too much. Too much. All right, buddy. I'm going to steal that one back from you. Everything else was consumed. We'll call that good for now. So right now, the puffin chick has down feathers. And those keep it nice and warm. And in about four weeks, they'll start to molt into the adult feathers, which are their waterproofing feathers. And we would actually start offering it pool time so that it can get used to swimming and then eventually go on to exhibit with all the others. All right, little bud. All right, nighty night. Yep. Hi, little one. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at you. That's so big. Much more mature face yeah. now, right? We learned the gender of the puffin chick, and it's a female. And now it's old enough to start to swim. Oh, look at you stretching. Once she does start swimming, those downy feathers are really going to come right off. Our puffin chick is 39 days old today. It's been a lot of fun watching her grow up. You know, she's really starting to look like an adult. Uh, she's getting some white on her face now. Her bill's getting longer. So she's almost full grown. She looks great. She's got that great puffin face. She's making cute little puffin noises. <laughs> she's got almost all of her adult feathers now, so she's waterproof now. So we're going to put her in the water. And uh, if she does well, we'll do more and more swim times until we leave her with a pool full time. Puffins spend a lot of time in the water. You know, they'll go out to sea for months on end. And here on exhibit, we have a pretty deep pool for the puffins. So obviously, we need to make sure that she's comfortable swimming before we put her on exhibit. Want to let her swim? Yes. Keep that one in the water. In the wild, the Atlantic puffins nest along cliffs above the sea. So obviously, a puffling um, that's fledging would have to just kind of get thrown into the ocean. There you go. You know, we're going to offer a nice small little pool You know, that's nice and calm. It's a little bit of an easier transition than she would have in the wild. You want to eat my fingers? Tell me about finger in the water. Come on. Oh, what's that? Get it. Come on, little bud. Take a little while. It's new to her. Yeah, I wonder what she'd do, like if you fed her near the water. Could try it. Come in for her silver side.
There you go. Go for a swim. Keep going. Commit. Commit. <laughs> she's just not 100% sure, but she's checking it out. She had her feet in. Most of her leg was in. <laughs> All right, let me put in a ramp to see if maybe this will just like walk down on the, the matting. Oh, she likes it. She's going down on the matting. She just needed some soft matting in her pool. Yeah, she's like the princess of the She's a princess. Go for a swim. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yay! She swam. She got scared. Yay! Good job. We're getting bolder. Oh, now oh, we're swimming. Oh, oh, oh. You figured it out. Yes. <laughs> She's got it. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> this is our first time having an Atlantic puffin chick. So basically every new step is brand new for all of us. So it's it's very exciting. You know, it's her first time ever experiencing this. It's, it's pretty amazing. And you tuckered out? Have you had enough? I think we should call it. Yeah, she's Give a, her a break. sleepy. There right, you. You take an M. She's a little over three months old now. She's been living in holding, and I think she's ready to go on exhibit. We'll be back. I'm soaping the window right now so that the puffin chick knows where the glass is once it's on exhibit. <laughs> Are you trying to eat it? We're gonna get the chick, and we're gonna bring it onto exhibit for the first time. Hi, cutie. The chick looks really good. It's definitely mature enough to be released in with the group. You good? Yeah, quite chunky. Oh, you talking? <laughs> you gonna go on exhibit? Have a nice new home? New puffin' friends? Oh, I know. The effort to get to this point is a few years in the making. Catching baby birds, is it, it's always an exciting time here. But to have a new species for the first time, it's extra special. All right, little one. Look at this. I know it's so exciting. Ready? All right, you ready? All right. Up you go. Let's go. Oh. Stretch in the wings. And explore, go explore. You have this whole big exhibit. This is all new and exciting. That's true. She's over by the other puffins. She doesn't seem nervous or afraid of them, which is good. She's pretty confident. All right. We're going to head out and give them some space. Keep an eye on them just to make sure that she'll get in and out of the water without any issues. Make sure there's no aggression from any of the other puffins, although it seems pretty calm. Oh, oh, go, right. go, go. Oh, go in the water. Hey, there you are. Hey. Now, this is probably a silly question, but you're confident she can get out of the water if she goes in? She should be OK. We've had puffins here at the Central Park Zoo since it opened, but we've never hatched an Atlantic puffin chick. We need to sustain populations so we have puffins to exhibit in the future, so we can have exchange of animals between other zoos and aquariums. So it is really important to have a successful program. I think she might go in. Yeah, she's, <laughs> <laughs> she's stuck in the water. She's like, this is a terrible decision. She's trying. Oh, poor girl. Oh, a struggle now? 